Hello, this is John Wright with RemoteMowers.com. Since 2009, I have been on a mission to create the best slope mower the world has ever seen. Uh, from the starting out with the TRX 34 uh, on up to the last year and the year before, we've been making the TRX 44 Pro, and it's been a real hot seller. Uh, all of our government municipalities to school systems, uh, we just shipped one to Yale University, uh, Liberty University. Uh, and today, we have raised that bar again with the introduction of the TRX 48 Pro. Our customers, they, they want something that's a little more uh, able to cut the tall brush and briars and uh, lots of thicket, but at the same time, they want to be able to get a nice clean cut on their overpasses without causing erosion. And that is the number one most important thing difference between our slope mowers and all the other slope mowers that are on the market. You got these massive 5,000 pound cog driven machines that are, you know, man, they're great for cutting br brush all the time, but you get it out on some long grass and it's going to tear the ground up. Or you got all these wheel driven machines, they can only go up and down a steep hill and that causes erosion. If you're going to be in the market for a, a slope mower, you need one with tracks, you need one that's lightweight, and you need one that's going to have rollers that are not going to bend. You can't expect sheet metal rollers with skateboard bearings to, to last any length of time. Uh, I mean, take the, the tapered bearings out of the front, front end of your car and replace it with skateboard bearings. You know, tell you what, you'll get to the grocery store, but uh, I guarantee you, you're not going to get home. If you're going to experience any kind of thrust load, that's a bearing on its side all the time. Now, what a tapered bearing is designed to do, it has to be a tapered bearing. I mean, there, there's no sense in using these uh, slope mowers that have plastic rollers or, or sheet metal formed rollers with skateboard bearings in them. They will not last. Our track systems, <laughs> they're over engineered to take anything you can dish out. We've had customers flip them down the mountains. They, uh, they take it on like a champ. But our TRX 48 Pro, it's, uh, it's what we're calling the game changer. This track system extends from the rear of the mower all the way to the front end of the deck. It's got traction to no end without using cogs to dig into the soil on a machine that's in the 1,000 to 1,500 pound range. So we're not gonna get turf damage. And we, we got a lot of rain today. And tomorrow we're gonna go out on some damp soil and we're gonna make another video for you guys. We're gonna drive it on a 50 degree slope after a rainfall, mind you. And we're gonna hang on like it's not, nothing to it. And we're gonna do it with one joystick. Your remote has one joystick to start and stop the engine. It's got another one to drive it around. It's really that simple. Uh, service and maintenance. I've had customers who buy these wheel driven slope mowers and then a year later they're overpasses wash out into the highway and they, they tell me it's like uh, trying to service the space shuttle. <laughs> and so we go out and we give them a demo and we're driving sideways, you know, side to side across their erosion. We've done this on several occasions and every one of them, the number one selling point is our ease of service and maintenance. All your belts, filters, blades, all your regular maintenance parts at your local hardware store. It's real easy to service and maintain. It actually is and it's just as easy to operate. Well, I guess that about wraps up this video. Um, thanks for watching this far. I know I'm not the prettiest sight to look at. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to get this TRX 48 Pro out on a 50 degree slope. We're going to document how well this thing can hang on to the side of that hill after you know, some heavy rainfall all day today. The ground's going to be nice and wet. And we're going to show you just how well it can hang on without causing erosion, without tearing the ground up. For more information, check out remote mowers dot com